good evening or good good morning depends on whatever you are so in this video I'll talk about boolean algebra and truth tables so for instance let's say you want to evaluate x plus the complement of x so this is this equals one but let's see let's use the truth table and see if we can figure out if we can verify that's indeed one so from the previous video on truth tables so if we have x so we have two combinations a x either zero or one then the complement of x is just basically you invert this if it's zero x bar or the complement of x is one then this is just zero now i'll just sum these two so zero or one so note in boolean algebra the plus sign means it means or it's not it doesn't mean plus so it means or so zero or one basically is just one one or zero is just one so check so one one so we kind of verified this is true now let's do so x x or the complement of x no actually i just did this one i want to do x and so the dot operator means and so this would be zero so again let's so x can be either zero or one so x bar so basically you invert the value of x now x and x so x and the complement of x will be logic logic one only and only if both x and the complement of x are both one if they are not both one their value is zero so i have zero and one that means zero one and zero they are not they are not both one that means zero so check so now let's assume we have a function f of x y and z which is x or y or z so again in logical operations the plus sign means or it's not it doesn't mean plus now what if we invert or we take the complement of x of f of x y z so basically you take this expression you put a complement so this then you apply the complement to each so like x but whatever you see or the plus sign you change it to and or the dot so so we can use the truth table and verify whether or not these two so these two are equal so if i write x so i can create the truth table so I have X, I have Y, I have Z. 
So again, they can take all, so the combination. So two to the power of three from the previous video, three because I have three variables, x, y, z. So two to the power of three, that's eight. So I should have eight combinations. One zero one 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 zero one one all of them are one so one two three four five six seven eight okay so now what I'm trying to construct is so I can construct this here or I can start with this so I can create the complement of x, the complement of y, complement of z, then end them. So complement of x. So basically just invert whatever you see zero, make it one. Whatever you see one, you make it zero. Let me just kind of finish the table. Okay, so so basically I'm just inverting x one one the other one zero zero zero. Then do the same thing. Whatever you see y is zero, make it one. If it's one, make it zero. One zero zero then z z naught so basically you take z and you invert it zero one zero one zero one zero now i'm going going to end these kind of make an and connect them with an and logic or operator so so x bar or x naught and y naught and z naught they will equal one only and only if all three of them are one 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 that means one if one of them is zero it's zero 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 so now so i kind of evaluated now I'm going to do the other X or Y or Z. So basically, if any of them, if at least one is one, it evaluates to one. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So that means 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 one now x or y or z and i'm going to invert it so basically whatever i see zero make it one otherwise if it's one you make it zero so notice so this is what i'm trying to compare x or y or z with a bar and x bar and y bar and z bar so these two so basically i'm trying to compare this column against this column and notice i have one here i have one i have zero i have zero i have zero i have zero zero i have zero 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 so they are equal so basically basically i proved using the true table that this expression here is the same as this expression and this is called d morgan law
So that was it for this video. Thank you and have a great time.